I'm Dustin Klein, some guy on the internet, and today we're gonna go over glasses for cycling with an emphasis on prescription lenses. But all this stuff works for non-prescription as well. You gotta give them the facts, just the facts. I had a chance to try out five different pairs of glasses, each unique from the next. All of these glasses will fall into one of two categories, performance, or lifestyle slash dual duty. And there will be two main types of lenses that we'll be working with, sunglasses or lenses that are permanently tinted and photochromic, which means they change from clear to tinted when exposed to the sun. Photochromic is mostly common with prescription lenses, but they can be found in non-prescription as well. And now a personal note from Dustin Klein. I personally think that photochromic is the way to go for prescription lenses. You essentially get two glasses in one with photochromic lenses. These lenses are changing constantly throughout the day depending on the environment that you're in, which can be very beneficial for big days on the saddle or riding in the winter when you might get caught with the sun down, your glasses will adjust with the light. So you're saying you're not stuck with sunglasses in the dark. Okay. And these work great for travel, especially if you want to pack light. Again, two glasses in one. You get your sunglasses and your regular glasses. What more do you need? A sandwich would be nice. And one last note to my visually impaired fam. When looking for new frames, especially if you're thinking photochromic, look for sunglasses frames opposed to regular prescription frames. This does a couple things. Sunglass frames tend to look good in clear and dark lenses, opposed to a traditional regular prescription frame will look a little funny with a tinted lens. Plus, sunglasses frames tend to be a little hardier and can handle our extreme active lifestyle. Extreme. Polarized or not polarized. Polarized lenses essentially reduce glare, which is great for environments like on the water or in the snow. I personally tend to avoid polarized lenses as it can conflict with the screens of digital cameras. First up, the Oakley Cliftons. These are a traditional sunglasses frame, which I outfitted with photochromic prescription lenses. These frames fall into the lifestyle slash dual duty category, which means they work great for on the bike and off the bike. I picked these up from Sports RX and had the Sports RX prescription lenses put in them with photochromic clear to brown, opposed to the Oakley branded lenses, which I found no noticeable difference between the two, plus it saves you a little bit of money. These frames are definitely on the bolder side of life, which I like. One thing that's really unique about the Clifton's is you can take off the molded plastic at the temples and the nose piece to get a different looking pair of glasses. These temple covers do block peripheral vision, which might be a concern for some people, but I have found that it's not that big of a deal. And one thing to note for very hot days or sweaty nosed folks is these will tend to migrate down a little bit. I attribute that to all the plastic on these glasses, making them a little heavier than normal. These come in a bunch of different colors, are one of my favorite glasses, and have a starting price point of 205 US dollars. Oh, that's another one. Up next, the Ombra's Dolomite. These are also a traditional sunglasses frame, which I had fitted with a single vision, photochromic, clear to black prescription lens, which I had done through the Ombra's website. The Ombra's brand is pretty easy to get behind with commitments like planting 20 mangrove trees for every pair of glasses they sell, carbon neutral certification, and being part of 1% for the planet. How can you go wrong? The thing that stands out most about Umbras is the fact that it's an armless design. They use cording instead of traditional plastic for keeping the glass, keeping them on your head? To keep them on your head? The look is super original, plus they function super well, especially if you need prescription glasses for doing things like making stuff or building things. Sometimes you gotta put your head in weird positions and your glasses will slide off or fall off. But with this type of construction, they stay on your head no matter what's going on. Which also means they're great for high activity, running, cycling, water sports. Hell, you could even go surfing in these. Let's go surfing. I don't like the water. These also fall into the lifestyle slash dual duty category, which means they're good on the bike, off the bike, and everything in between. And I found these to be very utilitarian, especially when traveling and riding. Traveling with rides, when you have to travel and ride your bike. When you're ride, tra, tra how do you, I don't know. Base price of these is 125 US dollars. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The Roca Breaker. Roca makes eyeglasses geared towards athletes and active lifestyles. 
They focus on lightweight frames that stay in place during activity. That sounds perfect. The breakers are also a traditional sunglasses frame that I had outfitted with a single vision, photochromic, clear to black lens, which I got through the Roka website. These also fall into the lifestyle dual duty category. I'm seeing a theme here. One thing Roka does that's unique is it comes with three additional nose pads so you can dial it in just right to the shape of nose that you have on your face. How caring. The main thing that I notice about these glasses is they're comfortable. They're lightweight and they stay in place as advertised. I actually like wearing these because of the way they feel more than the way they look, honestly. They were great for cycling and running. These are definitely the most norm core frames that I have, which could be great for someone that only wants to have one pair of glasses and doesn't need to scream for attention when they do it. What are you trying to say? The base price for these is 225 US dollars. I love glasses. Up next, Oakley Jawbreakers. These are a performance frame with a single vision, fixed tint, mirrored finish lens that I got from Sports RX, which is why it looks like my glasses have glasses. Okay, what else are we gonna say about this? I love these glasses. I look for any excuse I can to wear them. They're perfect for long sunny days in the saddle. They are very comfortable. They stay exactly in place. And I love the way they look. Whoa. These also work great for driving on bright sunny days because they're so comfortable. The only hook with these is that they're a fixed tinted lens. So no transition, no photochromic. It's just, you, you just, it, they're just sunglasses. These bad mamma jammas have a base price of 206 US dollars. <laughs> Next up, Sedani. These glasses are truly remarkable. They come with these badass iridescent mirrored finish lenses. You also get a traditional polarized lens and a clear to black zero magnification photochromic lens. It also comes with this small prescription attachment thing. So you put your prescription lenses in this and then this attaches to the inside of these glasses. Theoretically on paper, sounds great. In reality, it doesn't work at all. It's horrible for prescription. They move around, they're too close to your eyes. It just, it just doesn't work. So for prescription folks, these glasses are out. But for anyone that doesn't need prescription, these glasses are very in. The fact that you get three lenses, a carrying case, they're comfortable, they look kind of badass, and you're not gonna believe this, the MSRP is 20 to $25. What the hell? So there you go, there's my riding glasses breakdown, and I'm curious, what is your go-to glasses for riding in? Prescription or non? I put links to all this stuff down below so you can dig a little deeper. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD Gear Shop, the greatest place on the internet. Till next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off. Oh my God. Oh, oh my, oh, this is not helping.